Russia in 1896, Lev Sergeyevich Theremin, later to be called Leon Theremin, was born. He is considered to be the founder of electronic music for his invention of the only instrument to be played without human contact using electric waves, the theremin. Leon Theremin studied physics and astronomy at the University of St. Petersburg, and he studied cello at the St. Petersburg Conservatory. Theremin's cello career wasn't all that significant, but it most likely influenced some of the design and idea for the theremin. After World War I in 1917, the Russian monarchy was overthrown and the Bolsheviks took over and established a communist state. In this time came new ways of thinking in the Soviet Union, and it was during this new era that the theremin was invented. In the 1920s, Theremin was the elected head of an electronics lab at the Institution of Physical Engineering in Petrograd. While working there, he created the instrument that he is known for. The parts that make up the theremin had been previously known, but it was his construction of them to create the instrument that caused a sensation. The instrument was presented to the Tsar and became known throughout Europe and into America. He immigrated to America in 1927 and lived in New York City where he was treated as a celebrity for his invention. The strange and eerie sound created by the instrument attracted the interest of musicians of all genres and directors of film and television. He was even approached by a filmmaker to make a documentary about his life and invention titled Theremin, an Electronic Odyssey. When he was in the city, he shared his invention by teaching at many different schools and introducing it to composers to be used in classical music. One of his students, Clara Rockmore, went on to become a very talented player of the instrument which is notorious for its level of difficulty, beginning a whole wave of theremin enthusiasts and players. The instrument was played in the Metropolitan Opera House along with other classical music performances as well. In the late 1930s, after having been in America for about 10 years, he was kidnapped by the Soviet police and taken back to Russia to be employed by the Soviet Union Secret Service for his skill with electronics to help create devices for bugging and investigation. The theremin itself is a very unique instrument. Without strings, horns, or reeds, it produces sound by what appears to be random waving of the arms around a box with two antennas. However, there is more to the instrument than that. The two antennas protruding from the box have an electric current going through them, and when a hand is brought close to the antennas, the circuits connect, creating an audible sound. The vertical antenna controls the pitch, and as the hand is brought closer to the rod, the pitch becomes higher and more acute, while making a deeper sound when brought farther away. The horizontal antenna, on the other hand, controls volume. When the hand is farther away, the sound is quieter, and when the hand is closer, the sound is louder. It is with these two motions that with one's right and left hands that allows for a very eerie and strange musical sound. The sound of the theremin was, and still is, used in the soundtracks of horror and sci-fi films such as The Day the Earth Stood Still, made in 2008. Not much is known about the end of Leon Theremin's life, other than the fact that he died in Moscow, Russia, in 1993 at the age of 97. But what Leon Theremin brought to this world is something very unique and rather amazing.